We have been living with a heat pump for two and a half years and we're now into our third winter. And in living with the heat pump, I've learned a lot about how a heat pump works for us at home. Before we got this heat pump installed, I thought I knew a bit about how they worked. I'm a mechanical engineer who studied heat pump processes at university and I've sized and specified heat pumps during building design projects throughout my career. But living with heat pumps is different to just thinking about them on paper, on a computer program or on a spreadsheet. So the first week it got really cold two or so years ago, I had a little bit of a shock when I looked outside whilst I was having breakfast. I thought our heat pump had blown up, a real catastrophic failure. There was steam outside our back door and I was a bit panicked. I thought the heat pump had just gone completely so I ran outside to see just a little bit of steam around the unit but everything working as it had before. What the heck was that? I texted our installer straight away and they just replied really simply, it's when the heat pump goes into a defrost cycle. Well, I thought I knew about defrost, but I didn't expect it to be that dramatic. So a couple of weeks ago, I managed to get some film of a defrost cycle and I wanted to talk you through what is happening. So what is a defrost cycle and what is happening when we need to, to, to defrost a heat pump? So let's talk about the heat pump process. A heat pump is taking heat out of the air by running a refrigerant through a heat exchanger. It uses the heat in the air to evaporate that refrigerant before the heat pump compresses the refrigerant and then delivers a load of heat from the air multiplied by the compressor to a hot water circuit. In taking heat out of the air, the refrigerant will be leaving the heat exchanger a little bit cooler. It's moving heat from one place to another. And in making the heat exchanger a little bit cooler, Below, a certain, below certain temperatures and at certain humidities, frost will start to gather on the heat exchanger. For us, that's the back of the heat pump. Too much frost and it starts to be difficult to extract more heat from the air. So on cold days, the heat pump will go through a defrost cycle so that it, continue, it can continue to operate efficiently. So a defrost cycle is where the heat pump goes into reverse. It takes a bit of hot water from inside the house the radiator circuit or the buffer tank, and it uses the, that hot water to reverse the process, to heat up the heat exchanger, to melt or evaporate the frost. When this is happening, we don't notice it in the house. The house doesn't appear to be any cooler. We don't hear anything. The heat pump appears to be acting as normal. Just for a few seconds, if you're near the heat pump or looking out the window like I was when it happens, you will notice some change. So I left my camera running outside for nearly half an hour on a day at zero, just below zero degrees C a couple of weeks ago. And this is what we saw. First of all, you see the heat pump running as normal. And then you hear a couple of clicks from inside. You see a little bit of steam before some more clicks and noises from the heat pump. And then a fairly dramatic burst of steam that comes flying through the fan. When you're near the heat pump, you really notice this. It feels a bit like a steam room. And that's it. The heat exchanger is clear and the heat pump carries on working as normal. So to go through this process, the system has taken a little bit of heat out of the house. So for 30 seconds or so, its output is below zero. So its efficiency is negative. But over the whole day and throughout December for us in 2023, it's delivering a lot of heat with an average efficiency of just over 340%. So that is defrost. A little quirk of living with a heat pump on the coldest days. Something you, that you may never notice, but something that means that a heat pump can keep heating on those coldest days. So thanks for watching. Any questions about living with a heat pump, get in touch. And if you wanted to get a heat pump quote this new year, please do look at the link below to link up with the eco experts.